This one called Bloody Angle. Bai Shi Huang says that's what Doyer Street used to be nicknamed back in the 1900s before she opened up her salon there 35 years ago. Much better now, yeah. Uh, before this one, this street is not really safe. She says gangs would constantly fight on the 200 foot long street and it was common to see blood stains all over. But now the Chinatown block has undergone a huge facelift. It's very nice. I like it a lot. It's make this street beautiful. It's all thanks to this Chinese artist who was dedicated to transforming the street. Although it has been several generations since then, I hope people can still learn about the history of the street in a different form, especially the unique culture built later by the Chinese immigrants here. Dong Fang Chen says he chose to paint an abstract dragon because of the shape of the road. It has a sharp bend in the middle, and he visualized the dragon winding its way up the street. He believes it's also the best representation Presentation of Chinese culture. This mural is called the Song of Dragon and Flowers. The theme of it is love and peace, which is the spirit of Chinatown here. These friends visiting from California say they've been to Chinatown plenty of times, but wanted to stop by on this trip to check out the street painting. We're really enjoying ourselves here. It really makes everything look nice and definitely want to recommend this to my friends. A once blood stained street now covered with something everyone can appreciate. Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News. Right now, the street is closed to traffic from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. The mural is only seasonal and will stay there until November 1st. After that, the street could return to normal or be turned over to another artist.